But yeah, man, it's never what you say. It's how you say it. People need to remember this because a lot of people want to say, oh, channels don't want to help you once they get bigger. That's not the case. That is definitely not the case. I'm always looking for people who are well talented, well promoted to be able to help me out, you know? But not everyone is going to be able to be compatible with the content or the image that I'm trying to put out there for myself, you know? Like, I feel bad sometimes because a lot of people think, oh, you know, why are you being so mean, Etika? You don't listen to any inquiries or anything? I do, but half the time, it's people that barely even know how to construct a sentence and then that bug the hell out of you. And it's really irritating, you know? Like, like, and another thing, if you have no videos, you have no subscribers, you have no views, why are you asking me to help you promote? You got nothing. Come on, man. Really? Oh man, I have so many stories, guys. And I don't I'm not telling you these stories to be mean. I'm not telling you these to act like I'm some big shit YouTuber cuz I'm not. I mean, if you think that 5,600 subscribers is big shit, then you are clearly mistaken because I I'm pretty much a nobody right now. I'm trying to become a somebody, but I'm pretty much a nobody. No one cares about me. No one cares about my opinions. That's the first thing you got to know when you're a YouTuber. No one gives a shit about you. No one gives a shit about your opinions. Well, at least when you start Maybe you guys give a shit about me now, who knows? If you do, thanks. If you don't, oh well. Hopefully you will later on. Thing is that when you start YouTube, you're you're nobody. No one really knows who you are. You're, you're, you're nothing, you have no power. So because you have no power, you have to really stay aware of that. Wait, hold on, wait. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, so I got this sugar cane. I guess I'm supposed to let the carrots grow, huh? I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. So I might as well make those crops a little bit bigger. But yeah, when you when you start YouTube, you have no power. You're a nobody. You have nothing, you know? So because of that, you need to keep in mind that anything you do, you have to show respect first. But if you don't show respect, then automatically you're put at a negative level. You see, when you don't show any respect to somebody who deserves your respect, somebody who's bigger, somebody who knows more about the game than you, then you put yourself in a position to be disrespected, you know? But if you give respect all the time, no matter what, then you're in a much better position. But even then, when it comes to YouTube, not everyone's good at it. Not everyone will be a, a YouTube celebrity, you know what I mean? Time to go upstairs, this is getting scary. It's just the way it is, man. If everyone was good at it, this would be a wonderful place to be for everybody, but it's not. Not everyone's good at YouTube, I'm sorry. It's just not, not the case, you know? I mean, with the growth that my channel has had in the past few months, I mean, the only promotion that I ever got the only time I ever asked for any promotion, any promotion I ever received was with Zenon and Pikawu who promoted me months ago, right? And I got like about a thousand subscribers from that. And that kind of helped to start the boulder, you know? That helped to push my momentum forward. So I'm really grateful about that. That helped me so much. So Zenon, Pikawu, thank you so much for promoting your boy. I appreciate it. These guys must really be swamped with messages on the daily because I have not been able to get in touch with them recently at all, especially Pikawu. Pikawu I talked to a few times when he wanted to promote me because I remember he wanted to promote me way back when I was on the Pokemon but He was like, oh man, I like this guy a lot. He's really awesome. Oh man, dude, I really want to help you promote. And I was like, dude, I really want, I really want to like, because I saw he had SOS. I'm like, dude, please let me, let me like, because, you know, the thing is, I guess I showed a lot of potential, you know? I mean, I would like to think that I did. So then Pikachu was all down with it, and I was like, yes, you know, finally, a chance to really go out there. And so that was the way it was. And then, you know, I take my YouTube career seriously, you know? A lot of you guys may not know, but YouTube is actually a really good career option if you have the potential to be well in the entertainment industry, you see what I mean? So I can't blame people for trying to find out. But that's the thing. Sometimes a lot of people don't know when they're not adept at something and it can be sort of like a in denial kind of thing, you know? Whatever the case may be. It's difficult managing with those people because you don't want to rip their hearts out and be mean to them, but at the same time, you don't want them to constantly bother you. Like, I'll tell you another story. There's somebody on my YouTube that I'm going to tell you. Oh man, I don't know if you guys would like to hear this kind of stuff, but I'm going to tell you anyways because as you know, I'm real. I'm going to tell you guys like it is. This isn't just a gaming channel. This is a lifestyle channel as well. I'm going to let you guys know what happens. So, Yesterday, right? Um, somebody who was on my YouTube page, he was also going to be partnered with my company. He was asking me, oh, you know, can you please promote me? Please do something for me. I need promotion somehow, you know? And I'll be quite honest with you guys. I didn't see his channel going anywhere, you know? The guy had his channel for a very long time, had a very small amount of subscribers. And I have a policy where if I'm on YouTube right now, right? YouTube for me is not just a hobby. It's not just a hobby. It's it's, my, it's one of my wannabe professions, you know what I mean? I got multiple things going on. Three things right now in my life that are going to be my possible profession. YouTube is one of them. 
And I put all my effort into these three things, right? So anyways, this guy really wanted me to promote him. And I'm looking at his channel, and I kind of have a way of looking at YouTube pages where it's like, is he doing this for fun? Just for fun, as just a little hobby? Or is he doing it for hobby and growth as well, you know? If you're just uploading, I have a, my, my friend Ben, right? He uploads Grand Theft Auto walkthrough videos of Grand Theft Auto 3 just for the sake of uploading Grand Theft Auto 3 walkthrough videos. He just wants to have an archive of the missions that he played just for fun. He doesn't want growth, he doesn't want a bunch of subscribers, he doesn't want a bunch of views, he just wants those videos up as archives, public archives that anyone can see. And you know, that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that every channel out there needs to have a trillion subscribers, you know? Like, that's not what I'm saying. Do your damn thing. If you're on YouTube just to put, like, just to, like, have an archive or something like that, or if you're on YouTube just to upload videos for fun, hey, some of the gaming videos of me playing this game and stroking my cock in front of the camera, you know, for fun. Please keep doing your thing, man. That is that is really something great. You know, I have some archives on YouTube as well that I can't wait until I'm like 50 years old to look at because YouTube's going to be around, you know. We'll be 50 years old looking at YouTube videos being like, oh, man, I remember those days. But yeah, so but then there's that kind of YouTuber, the one who does it for recreation, recreational YouTuber. And then you have the recreational slash development YouTuber, which is what your boy falls into. I do YouTube for fun and promotion. I'm looking at YouTube as a wonderful way to let off steam, to meet people, to have a ton of fun, to do, th to do stuff with people, and at the same time, using it as a way to promote myself, to build my career, to forward my advancements, to really make a life of myself. Because when you have an audience, you have you, you really have some great benefits in terms of like having income, having things set up for you really nice, you know? So that's kind of like the way I see it, you know? And so, going onward, that's the way I that's the way I look at it. So there's not I, and then you have the third kind. I guess there is a third kind. This is the kind of YouTuber that does it simply for promotion. Nothing like it's not recreational. It's just simply for promotion. You can call them the sellouts, I guess. The people that do it more for like more for the money than the actual recreation. Some of these people are painfully obvious and some of them are not. It's kind of difficult knowing who are the sellouts, you know? But sellout doesn't mean that you have ads on your videos and that you're promoting products in your videos. That doesn't necessarily constitute to a sellout. That is just simply somebody who is using their assets to their advantage while maintaining a recreational state of gameplay. That's it. You know what I mean? So for me, you only start becoming a sellout when you stop everything that your channel was doing, everything, and you do something solely for selling and product placement. Like, if I stopped all of my gaming videos right now and started uploading videos of me riding cars that are paying me to ride in those cars, then that's a sellout. Somebody who clearly stops their organic nature in order to do something simply for the sake of profit. So technically, every time you clock into that job that you have in the morning at some clothing store, you're a sellout, technically, you know? And there's nothing wrong with being a sellout. Guys are trying to make it seem like being a sellout is the worst thing possible. To me, there is nothing wrong with being a sellout whatsoever. Yo, oh God, let me not drown. Um, that's the thing, man. Everyone's got this negative stigma around being a sellout. I wouldn't be a sellout myself because I'm doing YouTube for fun and for the promotional aspect. That's a dual-edged sword, I like it. But there are people who are doing it simply for the sake of the money more power to them, you know, go ahead. Justin Bieber, Vivo, you know, do, do your damn thing, you know, who, who gives a damn, you know? But, and if people watch it, then hey, they like your sellout content, you know? <laughs> but being a sellout does not mean like sticking in a product placement in the beginning of your video and still doing the thing that you naturally do. Like, like once you stop, I think that being a sellout starts once you lose your organic nature. Like, my videos are organic. Like, I like doing this. This is fun for me. Boom. But if I ever stop doing Minecraft or Pokemon, not for the sake that I don't like them anymore, but for the sake of, oh, I want to make money with my channel rather than play the stuff up, because I want to make money, I need money, then feel free to call me a motherfucking sellout. It's all good. And there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, nothing wrong with it. People always want to put a negative stigma behind it. It's got a somewhat of a negative stigma, I guess, because it's like, oh, you used to do stuff different before, and now you're, you're a sellout. And it's like, well... Let them do what they want to do, man. It's their YouTube channel, you know? You're getting all the content for free, so, hey. And anyone that says, oh, you shouldn't be using that whole getting the content for free stuff to validate you doing whatever you want on your channel, yes, you can. In the current state of capitalism as it is, nothing is for free. Things can be inherited, but nothing is for free. Inherited it. 
Inherited it? Inherited it. Inherited it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But, yeah. I hope this farm is turning out well. I've been going on about this for a really long time, and I'm not even paying attention to my farm that much. Uh, let's see. Let me put this here. And, um, yeah. So, being a sellout. Is it necessarily bad? No. Is it necessarily good? No. But is it what the fuck you want to do? Yes. Yes, it is.